All right, guys, how's it going? Story time. <laughs> I've got a slow puncture in my back tyre of my car. Now, I've got one of these cheap air compressors that plugs into a cigarette lighter. But when I was putting the air into the tyre, I noticed the PSI gauge was broke, and it basically just bounced from left to right. But when I was looking at the needle bounce, I thought, that would make a good blender tutorial. <laughs> so here we are. So in short, we're just going to use the noise modifier in the graph editor. So I'll select my box, and I'll scale it down, and I'll make a needle, so something like this. Then what I'll do is I'll go into the edit mode, I'll make a cut, a loop cut in the middle, and I'll move that down to about three quarters, so round about here to be fair. Then the next thing I'll do is make a loop cut directly in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to press shift and I'm going to select these two points. And I'll use the move tool and I'll make a kind of pointer like this. So, that's pretty much my needle, I'll jump back into object mode. It's maybe a bit big so we'll scale it down a bit. Something like that. Now the reason I made the cut down here was if you press Z and go into wireframe, I essentially want it to rotate around this cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this right up to the origin. And then I'm going to set my origin to the 3D cursor. So I'll press Z and I'll go back into solid mode. So just to check the 3D cursor's banging the origin, what you can do is you can press the N key, bring up the properties and go to view. And the 3D cursor location's bang on zero, so that's perfect. So I'll select the object, I'll go to Object, Set Transform, Origin a 3D Cursor. So this means, in theory, we can rotate around this point. So my needle was pretty much doing this. <laughs> and I thought, okay, let's make a tutorial of this. So I'm going to use the graph header and I'm going to use the noise channel to replicate this. Because keyframing it, yeah, it can be done. So, the needle goes to about 70 degrees this direction, and 70 degrees this direction. It never centres on 90 here. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly set a keyframe on zero. Then I'll come into the graph editor. Now if you've not seen my last video, it shows you how to set up the workspace. I'll select the object just to make sure. I'll bring down the object transform, and you can see here, see rotation. So how can we get this to animate? Very simple, come up to the menu here, go to key, add F curve modifier, and you can see here, noise. So it generates a whole bunch of noise, and we'll just hit play. So it was kind of doing this, but it was a bit more extreme. So what we can do in, in the graph editor, if you bring up the properties by pressing the N key, you can see the modifiers tab here. So I can set the scale. So a scale essentially separates the distance between the curves. So if I go pretty high, you can see it here. But mine's was pretty tight, so I'll say 6. Now the strength, so I already know that it's a 70 degree angle, so I can put the strength up and it should work in the negative and the positive. So pretty much something like that. And we'll just hit play. So that's pretty much the noise modifier in Blender. Now you can play with the depth. The depth actually adds more resolution to the curve. And if you really want to go, you can bring the scale right in. If you do something like that. I suppose it's like the old analogue signal you used to get in the amps for the volume. But it's a pretty easy way to use the noise channel. So, do me a favour guys, like and subscribe the video, it helps the channel out. I need to go and buy a new tile. Peace.